Hey dudes, how you doing? My name is Ryan Plain. I punch cliches in the jugular. And this is just a quick update on my pedal board as I've been updating recently and it's all pretty exciting so I thought I'd talk you through it. So firstly, a quick shout out to my old pedal board. I put this together when I was in uh, Scratch Latin, which if you guys don't know, uh, was a band that I was in with Matt Hornby, Dave Hollingworth and Rabir Massad. Um, sadly, we haven't done anything for a while, may do in the future, but nothing's planned. Uh, we had a lot of fun, toured around Europe, and uh, this was my pedal board, so sadly a little bit surplus to requirements now. I may reuse the uh, kind of fake money idea on my Pedal Train Pro, because it's always fun seeing people's reactions when you walk in somewhere with a load of money sticking out the side. Um, so yeah, just uh, wanted to give a quick shout out to my old pedal board. Love you, buddy. So first in the chain is my Boss TU2 Chromatic Tuner. Boring. Next up is my Super Octave OC3, again from Boss. This has been like a standard pedal on my board ever since I got it. I'm a sucker for octave pedals and um, yeah, I really like this guy. I have been looking at the Electro Harmonics Pog, but I kind of like the, the rawness with this, that you c it's, it, it kind of warbles and can't always handle it, but I, I kind of like that. <laughs> So next up is the Earthquaker Devices Bit Commander. Uh, this is an octave up, octave down, and bit crusher uh, kind of fuzz pedal. It's super versatile. You can get a whole load of sounds out of this. And uh, yeah, I, re I just really enjoy this. You can hear this in the latest Looper Mondays. Um, I really like the way the bit crusher kind of breaks up as well. When you hold a note, it kind of gargles out and sounds quite monstrous. So that is the Earthquaker Bit Commander. Next up is the almighty Strymon Mobius. This is like a modulation multi-effects unit with some really inspiring sounds, banks and banks of cool presets. Uh, some are really weird, some are kind of more typical, you can see they're kind of chorus, flanges, that sort of thing, but a whole wide variety of them. Um, and yeah, they're just really inspiring. I actually held off getting a Mobius. I saw them years ago and I, I didn't think I'd get into it and I'm really regretting it now because having played through this and ha like had the time to kind of flick through and find out what it does, it's kind of like a pedal built for me. It's just awesome. <laughs> This is like a ring mod um, pedal. Unfortunately, I don't have it powered up at the moment. It's not actually in the chain because it's quite noisy. This drive pedal here uh, is not bypassed and it's, it's quite cool because it saturates the tone, but there's some background hum that the pedal gives off. So I've taken it out for the moment, but it's there just in case I need it. The expression pedal here is a Moog expression and I've currently got that mapped into the Mobius. Um, just to kind of play around with the effects on that. So next is the JHS Color Box, a pedal I've mentioned a couple of times in videos. This was actually a gift to me from Joe Leach, who runs Rift City Guitar. Uh, it's a super generous present from him. He was involved with the Chapman Bus Tour, which I went and helped out on in January. And I wasn't getting paid for, wasn't expecting to, I just had a whole load of fun. But Joe bought me this as a thank you for my, my efforts there. So thank you Joe for this. It's basically a preamp based on the Neve 1076. Uh, so it saturate. Well, you can do a whole load with it, but the the idea is that you can saturate your tone and replicate plugging straight into a desk. Um, we've got several different gain stages here. Uh, the master volume is obviously master. Pre volume acts as kind of gain. The high pass filter is fairly self-explanatory. Um, just means you can cut out some low end and tighten up your sound if you want. And then just an EQ, a treble, middle and bass. Um, yeah, that's just a really cool pedal. 
just livens up your tone no matter what's going into it. Uh, it just sounds better through that. So thanks again to Joe for this and um, I'll shoot a more in-depth video on all of these pedals but particularly this one because it is cool. <laughs> effects loop we've got the Strymon Timeline um, which probably needs no introduction it's just a, a multi-effects delay unit again really cool some super inspiring sounds some kind of uh, not so typical delays in there you can see life uh, lo-fi and swell uh, ice is really cool as well it's kind of like a freeze delay um, kind of effect so yeah, the timeline's really cool. I've never actually owned a delay pedal. This is the first one I've had. And then, um, yeah, definitely having fun with this. And then to finish it off, we've got the Strong and Big Sky, which is the uh, again, multi-effects unit for reverb, and once again, a whole plethora of different types of reverbs. So it's just, I didn't actually expect to have as much fun with this pedal as I have done. Um, I just kind of wanted to add some, some ambience and depth to my sound. But this, even as a standalone pedal, is so much fun to play around with. And to be completely honest, I haven't really delved deep into what it can do yet. I've messed around, flicked through some presets, but I need to... Um, Delve a little deeper there. part of the board is my power brick which I'm just using to power the Bit Commander OC3 and tuner. Boring. I'm planning on finding a power unit that I can use to power everything, um, something by Voodoo Labs or a fuel tank or something. haven't quite got around to that yet but I will do. So in the meantime using the power brick and just the standard uh, plugs that come with the the JHS is actually 18 volts and came with a US adapter so I had to look around and find a suitable adapter for that. I eventually found the X5 B2 18 volt so if you're in the UK and looking for a power for that I can recommend that one. So there we go that is my pedal board so far. Um, I am thinking of swapping these two around and kind of bit commandering the OC3 rather than the other way around. Obviously both being octave pedals I very rarely have them on at the same time, but also because I like to experiment, um, it is kind of fun sticking them both on, seeing what happens. So then also the big sky and timeline I may swap round because I'm using the loop function on the timeline quite a lot, uh, and it'd be really nice to be able to change the reverb that's going in and kind of have big ambient lead lines over the top of some really tight bass line or something. So I may swap these two rounds. Who knows what will happen. Obviously if it's delay, if I'm using it as delay, uh, it makes sense to have that kind of feeding into the reverb. But like I say, I'm using the loop functions so much that um, yeah, I might try swapping it around and see what I think of that. I definitely want to shoot some more in-depth videos of these pedals, uh, either separately or combinations of. It'd be really cool to hear what you guys want to hear, so drop me a little list in the comment section below of kind of order of preference or combinations you want to see or just anything to do with the pedals and I'll shoot a quick video and show you what's going on. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Okay, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like, share and subscribe and if you have any questions for me, just stick them in the comments below. I will see you guys soon. Until then, peace out. I've been Rory.